Oh my God, Pisces. Okay, listen, I got another channel message for you guys. And this one brought me to tears because I really feel like this is going to touch a lot of y'all in your lives. And it's going to be something that makes sense maybe later. Like fully, you're going to feel it now, but I feel like it's going to completely make sense later. Um... I was actually going to go live and tell you guys this, but I couldn't even do it because I'm already like, like, <sighs> y'all really just don't know. Like, God just showed me something beautiful about our lives because I'm a Pisces too. And I don't give a flip flam what anybody on this internet says. We're all connected. We're all a part of the collective and our energy is all intertwined. So when I give y'all these messages, it's not just me speaking from my heart to you. It's also me speaking to myself. And I'm sorry. I don't want to start it off so emotional, but I have to like, because this is big. And the last reading that I did for you guys really brought something up. Um, that last reading brought something up that I, I think uh, I know that spirit wants me to share with you guys. And I think it's um, kind of like a warning for you all not to live that way in your life, because that reading was talking about someone being afraid to basically live their life and see what's next and being afraid to like just live 100 percent like in the moment of their life and their feelings. And I just really feel like spirit does not want you guys to do this. So I don't know if I'm going to use any cards, just so you guys know, FYI, if you want me to use the cards and this is upsetting for you, then this may not be your reading. It may not be your message. Um, but thank you all for being here. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, anything you need to know is below. So as you guys may have seen, the community posts those are a good way to kind of get hints about what the readings are going to be about because they're usually songs that I channel. And this time, it was really hard for me. And I know it's going to sound so dumb, but like, I grew up like reading Dr. Seuss books and watching Disney movies because... My family really wanted to enrich me with experiences, and that was just the 90s kid way, okay? Disney movies in the 90s were like ace, bro. Like, and I know people talk about Disney and all this other stuff, and I don't care. Like, I don't care what anybody's done. Disney movies really, like, shaped my life. And Pocahontas was one of my favorite movies. And y'all, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to cry. But, like, this is so big in your life. Some of y'all are so scared to, like... Some of y'all are so scared to move forward and to go into what's next. And I really don't want you to be scared. Like, God is trying to tell y'all right now. This is about to be the best time of your life. Like... And I know it may not be historically accurate, the Pocahontas movie, but that song, Just Around the River, Ben, right? Like, that is your channel message, okay? I can't even, I don't know if I can even get through it. I'm so sorry. I was trying to hurry up and get it out, like... I'm so sorry, y'all. Like, I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's hard because, like, when I think about this song, it's one of my favorite movies. And, like, when I think about this song, I think about my mom. And, like, <sighs> I think the people who love you, Pisces, whether they're here or not, like, they really love you. And they don't want you to live this life in fear. They don't want you to be afraid of what's around the next corner. And that's why this is your channel message. She said in the song, I look once more. 
just around the river bend, beyond the shore, somewhere past the sea. Don't know what's more. Why in all my dreams waiting just around the river bend? Waiting just around the river bend for me. And then she talks about how some people like want a sturdy husband who builds sturdy walls and never wonders what's ever coming just around the river bend. And it's like, oh my God, let me focus. I just feel it. This is about rivers. And she said, you never step in the same river twice. She said, the thing I love about rivers is you never step in the same river twice. Things are always changing, always flowing, right? And then it's like, she was basically saying some people can't live like that, but she loves to live like that because it it basically, you know, keeps life spicy. And it's not just about that. It's about the fact that it shows you what you need to see. Y'all are so, so good, Pisces. I really feel like God is rewarding you because y'all are so good, like purely in your heart, y'all are so good. And I feel like this is a reward for you taking life as it comes. And never like truly complaining because like if you truly complained, you would have taken yourself out by now and you haven't and you keep getting up every day, taking it as it comes and just being the beautiful person that you are like. And I'm telling you, God is rewarding y'all for this. So the title of this reading is Rivers. Just around the river bend. I also heard better safe than sorry. It's time for an adventure. And you're about to have an, a beautiful epiphany. Okay. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. And I think what this epiphany has to do with is how you see your life. It's not going to be sad anymore. <laughs> It's not going to be hard anymore. It's not going to be painful anymore. It's not going to be hurtful anymore. And there's going to be a situation where you're going to have to choose whether or not you want to be safe or if you want to take this adventure. And a lot of people say that. They say like, oh, better safe than sorry, better safe than sorry. But really, that's an excuse for not taking the adventure. And I feel like there's going to be a there's there's going to be a moment where you're going to have to choose Pisces whether or not you want to go on the adventure or whether or not you want to stay safe. And if you choose to be safe, right? If you choose to be safe, you're going to miss out on some type of adventure, but I don't think it's bad. Like this is totally free will. And it's totally up to you about what you want to do. But there may be some regrets if you choose the safer route instead of the more adventurous route. Um, and that could be a, a nod to your past as well. Um, this could be something coming back around for you that you could have chosen in the past. But in the past, you chose the safer route. Because you didn't want to be sorry. But you may have learned that being better safe than sorry might make you sorry anyway. But you're about to have a beautiful epiphany about your life. You're about to realize how much you are loved. You're about to realize that there's no more pain and sadness. Because I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm so happy. I love you guys so much. And you tell me all the time, like, y'all have, y'all have really changed my life because I wanted to give up. Not only do my kids give me reason to live and to keep going, but you guys do too. And... All of you together are like my babies. And there's so many things that are happening in my life that's giving me a reason 
to want to keep getting up. And I'm just so thankful. And I'm sorry I'm so emotional. I can't help it. I'm so thankful. And I'm so grateful for everything God has shown me in my life. And I know that this might be crazy. But your life is about to turn around if it hasn't yet already. And this is a confirmation for you, Pisces. Like, you don't have to be sad no more. I promise. <laughs> Please don't be sad no more. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but the reality that you see is about to just blow up in such a beautiful way. It's about to be like this beautiful light in your life. And the choices that you make now are going to be totally up to you. But Spirit, I feel, really wants you to take the adventure and to not be scared of what's coming towards you. Because I told you about this before. And if y'all remember the reading that I did that was talking about your intuition, it was maybe months ago. And I, I picked it up in a few readings where I was talking about your intuition and how spirit was showing you things possibly in your dreams through your crown chakra, through intuitive downloads. But your intuition was like heightened and sensing something kind of like a hairs on the back of your neck type of feeling and because of all of the pain that you've experienced you thought it would be something bad and there may have been things that were in the way blocking your vision from being able to see clearly that this was actually something good but for whatever reason you were nervous about the change and you were nervous about the progression and it's coming back up because spirit is about to make some major changes in your life. There's a lot of people who don't want this to happen, bro. But it do they don't fucking matter, my G, okay? These people don't matter, okay? There's a lot of energies and entities and, and things that are working through people on this planet that don't want you to see this reality. But spirit is basically like, <laughs> never, okay? They're never going to succeed. It's like it doesn't matter how much people try to stop you from bringing this new reality into existence. You're still bringing it into existence. Do you understand how strong you are? Like, no, no fucking joke. No bullshit. Do you understand how strong you are? Do you see yourself... Because they see you. All these fucking haters, they see you. And they know how strong you are. That's why they had to put so much on your back. Because you were unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Do you see yourself? up? I'm begging you, Pisces. I need you to see yourself. Because this is about to be an amazing turn of events. This is about to be an amazing phase in your life. Okay? Oh, God. I really did not want to get on here crying. I tried to get all the tears out before I got on here. Look, oh my God. And I was about to pull one card from this modern witch deck and the high priestess is at the bottom. Oh my God. I look once more just around the river bend. It's like you have to look one more time. It's kind of like a situation where I feel like this is a gamble because I'm seeing someone sitting at the casino slot machines but it's like, you know, this time is real. 
I'm seeing someone sitting at the casino slot machines and they're basically like, you know, some people are like, oh, I can't walk away and they waste all their money. But it's like, this is a person who's like, okay, I see that things aren't going my way. I'm going to go ahead and get up. But something as they get up tells them, do one more, put one more quarter in, bet one more time. And they do it. And then the jackpot hits. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's what I feel right here. It's kind of like that meme with the guy digging to the pot of gold and then he gets tired and stops, but he's right there. But this is the thing, Pisces, you're not going to stop. It's like you have to look one more time around this river bend because things are always changing and always flowing. And now you feel this energy where it's like your intuition is telling you it's time or spirit is telling you this is the time. And you're going to try something one more time or you're going to give it one more shot or you're going to take an adventure or take a leap of faith one more time. And in your mind, you know you could be disappointed, but at the same time, you know you're not going to be disappointed. You know this is your time. Okay. What is the message for Pisces, Guardian Angels, Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors? chariot but it was in reverse for some of you guys you're gonna have to make this choice about your direction where you're gonna go whether you're gonna stay put or you're going to move forward this could be about your work eight of pentacles and the five of pentacles yeah Yeah, something is right there. Something is right there, Pisces. If you're thinking about giving up, whether it's on yourself and you were thinking about like take, taking yourself out or whether you're thinking about giving up on this uh, job that you have or this business or thinking about giving up on school, thinking about giving up on anything right now in your life, spirit really just like slapped you in the face, bro, with this message. Cause I, I mean, I, I, I just, I have no words. I have no words other than to tell you that this is what they want you to know. There's more help around you than what you see. And it's kind of like gladiator type energy too, where it's like everyone is rooting for you. And there's some people who aren't, but there's thousands and millions and billions and trillions and however exponential, inf infinite number of angels, spirits, entities, forces, source. There's so many energies around you to see if you're going to be able to do this, because if you're able to do this, this is going to change something. It's like the laws. Where lawyers, when they go to court, they cite different cases, you know, um, Brown versus Board of Education, for example. If they want to prove a point in court for a plaintiff or a defendant or whoever, like if they're representing someone and they want to prove their point and it's maybe an unorthodox situation or an unconventional situation, they may be able to argue their point based on the ruling of a prior case because there's some type of circumstantial connection or there's some type of, uh, you know, loophole that applies to both cases. And if the judge was able to rule for that particular case in one way, then they may be uh, uh, obligated or even able, whatever, whatever the word is, they may be not just, uh, not obligated like they have to do it, but they may be, you know, they may have the opportunity to get the same result as that other case. And that's why they cite that case. And that's what I feel for you. I feel like spirit does not want you to give up. They don't want you to take the safe path. They want you to go on this adventure and they want you to be excited about what's around this river bend because you're going to have this beautiful, spectacular epiphany about your life. This may be something that happens at the end of your life. 
but it's gonna feel so good. Like there's so much happiness. And I realized that because I told you guys, my mom, you know, she was the reason for the season, okay? She knew what was in me. She told everybody what was in me, what she saw in me. And didn't matter if they believed her or not. She knew who her daughter was. She knows who her daughter is. And she's like, I couldn't stay, but I, I see you through it. But I'm always going to be here. And it's like the gladiator in the stadium. If you're able to beat this, okay? If you're able to if you're able to come out standing in this situation, you are going to be a loophole or you are going to be like the poster child for people moving forward. They're going to follow your example. And I don't know what that means. But that's what this message is, and I swear it. And I feel it so strongly. And not only are there people in the crowd who support you, but there are a lot of people who don't support you in the crowd. But everybody is like, is this going to be a homer? When they hit the home run, and you're like, is it a home run? And it goes out, and they're like, yeah, it's a home run. There are certain people in the crowd who are for the other team, and they didn't want it to be a home run. But that don't matter. It's a home run, bitch. Okay, that's all I got. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Thank you, Pisces. If you would like to donate or contribute to the channel, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. If you'd like to book a reading, get merch, or join the membership, those links are below. And remember, Pisces, this is our Circle Booze. Bye.